Good morning, everyone. I woke up in a rest area near the city of Cleveland, Ohio. I thought it would be a good idea to go through what a day looks like for me living in my car. So one of the first things I do is get out of bed, of course, that's a, that's a given. I do have a little bit of space here to sit. So I'm able to put my shoes on right outside. This is the part where I change, so uh... Now you're probably wondering what's inside of this bag. And it's honestly, it's nothing crazy. It's just a bunch of stuff that I use in the bathroom. I also bought some floss picks. It's important to keep your, uh, your mouth clean. Rest areas are probably my favorite place to stay overnight because you have a nice park where you can walk around in. You have restrooms not too far away from the car and there are vending machines in case you need something to drink or snack on. As you can imagine, I'm quite hungry. So let's get off the highway and get some food to eat. So we're gonna go to Giant Eagle. That is the grocery store here in uh, the state of Ohio. Which one do I get? Which one do I get? I don't even know. There's so many to choose from. Uh, I can't, I can't. There's no, that's bad for me, it's bad for me. I bought a banana and some bagels. That's what I'm gonna eat. I also have some leftover butter chips. <laughs> Making sandwiches or eating bagels is by far like one of the easiest ways to eat in a car because I don't have a refrigerator, I don't have a freezer, and I don't have anything to heat up my food either. So bagels and sandwiches are perfect. And as you saw, you can buy a bunch of bagels or sandwiches and then get some cold cuts, some butter, cheese, whatever you like, put it on the sandwich, and you're good for a few days at least. Hello, I'm in the library now, so I gotta be quiet and use my whisper voice. This is easily my go-to work spot when I'm on the road. I get access to free Wi-Fi, it's peaceful, and usually it's a pretty nice place to work. And recently, I've become a bigger fan of books. Sometimes I even pull one out and go to read it. But today, I am not reading. I actually have quite a bit of work to do. That's what I spend most of my time doing. So if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go get some work done now. So I stopped at a gas station because I need gas for my car. We're going on a bit of a journey. So I'm here, I'm going to be getting it, and I'm going to be doing it in a way that is very uh, swift. Alright, so we're leaving the state of Ohio now. That's the big secret. I've made it to the state of Pennsylvania. Woo! Let's go, let's go. Uh, that's the beauty of car life, you know? You get to go anywhere, anytime you want, assuming you have the allocated time to do so. But it is, it's great to be in Pennsylvania now. We're going to a city that I've never been to before. But before we go to this mystery city, I've gotten quite hungry and it's definitely time for me to go get some food. Hi, I'll take a tour. I am so excited to have Chick-fil-A. I can't remember the last time I've had it. It's like probably my top three favorite fast foods in the entire planet. While I'm eating my Chick-fil-A, I thought it would be a good idea to share two different things with you. 
One, what is my favorite part about car life? And two, what is my least favorite part about living in this car? So definitely my favorite part about living in the car is easily the freedom that you have here. Like it is so much fun being able to go any place, anytime, anywhere, as long as, as you're able to, of course. I also wanted to mention that car life has even more freedom than van life as you can park your car and travel literally anywhere. With a van, you have issues with like the cities especially, and sometimes in other areas, they don't allow you to park a van. My least favorite part about car life, and this applies to me personally, is a lack of community. It does suck from time to time. Like there are days where I'm a little bit more lonely than others, and I wish I had someone with me. There is a solution to that problem, and that is that I can actually sleep two people in this car, one can sleep in the front here and the other in the back where my bed is. Van life is a lot easier because it's a lot more comfortable and spacious to sleep one, two, four, even six people. But it is possible for me to like bring a friend. I have finally arrived at the new city and I'm so excited to show you what's behind this camera because the skyline view from this point is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm pumped to be here my first time in this brand new city, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Look at that ridiculous skyline of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover that I know you can't afford. Buy that tattoo on your shoulder. Pull the sheets right off the corner of that mattress that you stole from your room at back in Boulder. late now so I've made my way over to a rest area as you can see behind me with all the trucks it's always nice seeing my kind here at night and it is very late and I'm getting quite tired so I'm gonna go through my night tune it's pretty simple it's pretty much the reverse of what I do in the morning yeah it's as simple as that but before I go to sleep if you could do me one quick favor and click on this video right here I would really appreciate it.